Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Miss Megan's Camp Kindergarten. I'm so excited that you are here joining us today. We're going to have lots of fun. Um, I want to introduce you to my girls. This is Wells. He's Hi. Hi. Wells, how old are you? Um, six and a half. And what grade are you in? Kindergarten. Kindergarten. Okay, you can go sit down. And this is Kinsey. Can you tell everybody how old you are? I'm four years old and I go in blue class and that's how old I am. She goes to blue class preschool. All right, well we're going to get started um, by singing a hello song to see how everybody is feeling. So everybody can um, stand up. That's okay. Let's get ready to sing. It goes like this. First of all, you're going to wave and say hello to everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? Hello, everybody. How are you? How are you today? How's everybody feeling today? Good. 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 Thumbs up. Happy. Maybe we're feeling a little tired, depending on where you live. Maybe you are just have lots of energy today. Well, we're going to hopefully have lots of fun together. Let's keep singing. We're going to clap our hands. Uh, hello, everyone. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. While you are standing, we are going to sing another song. Can I sing it with my ukulele? Okay. I'm going to introduce you to my helper. His name is Tony the Toucan. Can you say hello to Tony the Toucan? He's going to help me as my pointer to make sure that we see everything we need to see. So Mommy, let's scoot yeah, everybody back. Yeah. Scoot it all back so we can get our months in here. Oh, back a little bit farther. I don't need to scoot here. There we go. That's what you can always do. So that All right, so thing. here's how the song goes. We start here with January. January, January February, February, March, April, April May. May. We go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August, and September. Back to school so we remember October, November, and December. We know our months so we end the song here. We know our months so we end the song here. Now, that was an awesome job. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. Now, we're going to do this every single day that you're with me, and that's going to be at least for three weeks maybe more depending on my girl's schools. So if you didn't get it this time, we have lots of days to practice. So we're gonna do it one more time and then we're gonna keep moving on. Here we go, let me hear everybody sing. Nice big singing voices, here we go. January, February, March, April, May. <coughs> we go outside and play, play, play. June, July, August and September. <coughs> Back to school, so we
Have a seat. <coughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I just got caught a bit like a. All right, moving on. Sorry about that. <coughs> wow, what a way to start, right? Okay. Mommy, how about you so much in time? Okay. We're gonna do a little bit more singing. <coughs> oh, this is so embarrassing. A little bit later. All right. Can you sing her cha cha cha, boss? Okay. Stand up and show everybody. I don't wanna do it. <coughs> Here we go. Sun. Cha cha cha. Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, cha, 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 Thursday, Friday, cha, 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 Saturday, cha, 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 cha. Saturday. Cha, 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 cha. cha. All right, let's try that again. Getting my voice back. I'm sorry, guys. All right, days of the week. Here we go. Sunday, Monday, cha, cha, cha. Tuesday, Wednesday, cha, cha, cha. Thursday, Friday, cha, cha, cha. Okay. Everybody take a deep breath in. <coughs> and out. Okay. Today, oh, we're in the month of March. <coughs> Today is Monday. Now, if we don't know how to figure out what day it is, we know that Monday starts with a what letter? <coughs> An M. So we can look through our days of the week and find a word that starts with the letter M. This is Monday. <coughs> you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm having a cough attack. You can't stop. I promise. This was not part of the plan. Okay. So today is Monday. Now, if today is Monday, what was yesterday? Yesterday we go one, one uh, movement backwards. What is that? What else? Sunday. <coughs> yes. Yesterday was Sunday. And if today is Monday, tomorrow will be? Tuesday. 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 Very good. <coughs> so, we said today is Monday. Can you say that? Today is Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. Your turn. Yesterday was Sunday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. Very good. Now. Wait, you said I didn't to do that. You'll help me soon, sweetheart. All right, now we need to figure out what number to put in. So how are we going to figure out how to do that? We can count them. We can count. So everybody help me count. Here we go. We're going to start with number one. Yeah. Should I use Tony as you can? Okay, let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What comes next? Sixteen. Very good. Now. We need to figure out what color to make this number. So let's figure out. Let's figure out what our pattern is by looking at the colors. So let's say the colors together. Okay, I know it's red, black, black. Can you help, Can you help me? Mm -hmm. Red, black, black. 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 What what color is going to come next? Red. Red. So our sixteen is a red sixteen. Can I put it in? Sure. We probably should raise our hands, right? Can we? Can we? <coughs> All right. Nice job. High fives. Okay. Now we are going to move on. And uh, figure out, we did our counting. Okay, we need to figure out what the weather is. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different wherever you are. We looked at our weather outside, but what I need each of you to do is I need for each of you to go find a window 
and look outside. Go ahead. Go find a window and look outside. You looked earlier. You want to run upstairs? Yeah. Uh, why the door turn there? Do right. you want to go to the wells and figure out what the weather is? Can you please come with me? I can't come with you. You can stay down here if you want. I want to sing with you. You just stay right here. I want to come with you. All right. Did everybody go look outside? Did you look and see? Do you see sunlight where you are? Do you see the sun? Are there clouds? Are the tree branches swaying? Is it windy? Is it snowing where you are? Maybe it's rainy where you are. Well, we're going to tell you, I want you to tell your adult, just a minute. I want you to tell your adult what the weather is right now, at where you are. Partly cloudy. Now, Wells is going to tell us <clears throat> what the weather is where we are in Illinois. Partly cloudy. Partly cloudy. It's partly cloudy. What does partly cloudy mean? So it means it's sort of sunny and sort of cloudy. Sort of sunny and sort of cloudy. Very good. Kinsey, you want to put the partly cloudy up there? <clears throat> sort of cloudy. <coughs> well, just on the box. On the first one, because sure. it's the first day. But you know what? We forgot to sing our weather song, so help me sing. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy out today? All right, well, we just told you that our weather is partly cloudy now. We need to figure out if it's hot, warm, cool, or cold. So what does that mean? Hot means, <clears throat> Wells, what would you wear if it's hot outside? Um, short sleeves or your swimming suit or tank tops. Might go jump in a pool if it's hot out, right? Yeah. Is it hot where we live? No. no. It's sort of chilly. Now let's go to the next one, warm. What does it mean if it's warm Mom, out? Mommy, do you want to do the washing? We'll wash our hands to do it. We'll wash. Well, Kinsey would like to do the wash our hands song in a little bit, so we'll do that in a little bit. If it's if it's warm but not hot, what what would you wear if it's warm out? Short sleeves. Probably short sleeves and maybe some shorts. But would you would it be hot enough to go jump in a pool? No. No. If it's cool out, the clothes that I might wear would be long pants and long sleeves and maybe a light jacket. But um, then, what if it's really cold? What would you wear if it's really cold? Um. I would wear long sleeve pants, um, a vest, I mean not a vest, a hat, hat gloves, a coat, coat, yes, and snow pants. Maybe some snow pants if it's cold out. So what do we think the temperature is here? Um, it's hot, snowy, cool, hot, warm, cool, or cold? Um, cool. I think it's cool too. You want to put this one in for me? Yeah. I'll put it right next to the sunny. Okie dokies. <clears throat> Moving on, we're going to talk about our morning message. Let me see if I can move this a little bit closer for everybody. You said it could go over that. Okay, here we go. We're going to read our morning message together. Dear <coughs> boys and girls, today is Monday. Today, we will have fun together. Love, Miss Megan. We're going to have lots of fun together. M O N says mom. M O N smells, spells mom. That's right. Now, I forgot to wipe that on. Now, we need to talk about, <clears throat> especially for our kindergartners and first graders who are, who are turning, tuning in. What do we, how do we know when we have a sentence, how do we know that it's the beginning of a sentence? What is our one special thing that we need to look for? Does anybody know? It's called a capital letter. Now my message up here has hardly any capital letters, so we need to figure out which letter needs to be a capital letter. So let's see here. Dear boys and girls, this is kind of sense. it's like writing a letter. But at the beginning of a letter, we need to also have a capital letter. So which letter needs to be capitalized? Um, well, like go up and point. Go ahead. This one. <clears throat> what letter is that? Um, D. Very good. It's a D. We need to have a capital letter D. So the way that we know that is we put three lines underneath it. Help me count. One, 
two, three. And then we write a capital D on top. Very good. Okay, you can go sit down. Now, Kinsey, can you help me out and figure out what needs to be capitalized next? Today is Monday. Which is the beginning of the sentence? Very good. What letter is that? T. A T. A T says T. Now, this T needs to be capital, so we're going to put our three lines underneath. <clears throat> can I do it? You can help me. One, two, three. Wait, go to my sister. And we're going to make a capital T on top. Thanks. You can have a seat. Dear boys and girls, today is Monday. Today, we will have fun together. This is our next sentence. Which letter, Wells, needs to be capitalized? Um, Mommy, Just a minute, I'm, you can go next. I want to go with four six. Um, no, I want to go four six times. Okay. Not the F and fun. Today, we will have fun together. <clears throat> and what's at the beginning? Very good. What letter is that? T. A T. The T says T. Three letters, three lines underneath. One, Wait, mommy. two, three. Mommy, mommy, Not mommy. T on top. Yes, <laughs> I know what to do. What? These are the same thing. That's right. All of these things tell us that we that, the, that those need to be changed to a capital letter. Now we're missing something at the end of our sentences. Wells, what are we missing? From a period. A period. It's called punctuation. A period tells us that the sentence Mom, is Mom, over. Mom, you said we could do this. Here. I put the period do that next, okay? Yeah, yes. Period. Today is Mommy, Monday. Mommy, well, what would you guys to do it? Actually, it is Kinsey's turn. You just did one. So we're going to put a period at the end of the sentence right here. We're going to put a dot. Dot. And then we're going to circle it. And that tells us that we need to go back and put a period. Now, well, I'm going to do the last one, okay? Oh, the last sentence is, today we will have fun together. And we need a period at the end of this one. Very good. <clears throat> now, last Mom, we need the period at the end of the E. That is a good observation. And that Kinsey, one and that one. Kinsey said, well, we need to have a period at the end of this sentence. And that one and that one and Thank that you. one. And you have a seat. Kinsey is thinking that because this word is at the end of our line, that we're at the end of a sentence. But this is what it reads. Today we will have. Is that, is that, is that a full sentence? No. No. So we don't put a period right here. We wait until we wrap that sentence around and end our thought. Today we will have fun together. Oh. Period. Yes, Paul. So I need to put a period. Right here? And yeah. right there. Well, this is just the end of our um, letter, and we don't put it up here at the end of our letter. Okay, we're going to move on. <clears throat> in light of everything that's going on in the world, um, I came up with a hand-washing song. This is kind of sprinkled in here. Um, so my girls would like to help teach you our hand-washing song. So it goes like this. Scrub the bottom. Scrub the tops. Make lots of bubbles, pop, 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 over and around and in between. Hands and fingernails nice and clean. Scrub the bottoms, scrub the top, make lots of bubbles, pop, oh, and then we stop. Nice job. You want to try that with us? Okay, everybody get your hands ready. Everybody get your hands ready. Ready? Here we go. It's to the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Here we go. Scrub the bottoms, scrub the tops, make lots of bubbles, pop, 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 over and around and in between. Hands and fingernails nice and clean. Scrub the bottoms, scrub the tops. Make lots of bubbles and then you stop. And then you rinse them off. We're good to go. All right, nice job. Let's scoot this back a little bit. Oh, okay. Now, we're going to talk about some letters that we have here. 
Our first letter that Oh, that means jump. Okay. The first letter that we are going to talk about is the letter A. Okay, the letter A. Mommy, the dinosaur marching thing? We're going to get to the dinosaur marching song in a little bit. The letter A says, what sound does A make? Ah. Ah. Can you all, can you all say that? Ah, ah, ah. Just a minute. Now, when we write, no. just a minute. When we write the letter A, we have three lines on our paper. I like to name these three lines. The top line, I call the sky. The middle dotted line, I call the fence. And the bottom green line, I call the ground. Now here is something very Clean the grass. important. Clean the grass. Or the grass. When you write your letters, you never, ever start them from the ground. They will always start at either the sky or the fence. So let's do our capital letter A. Walls, what did you want to say? Um, there are also vowels, so they can also make an A or an A. That's right. That's a vowel, so it has two sounds. But today we're just going to talk about the one sound of A. Excuse me. When we make a capital A, we start, we start at the sky. And we make a diagonal line down to the ground. Then we come back up to the sky. We make another diagonal line down. And we cross at the fence. Now we're all going to do that together. In the air, we call this air writing. So, we start at the top and we go down to the ground, back up to the sky, down to the ground, over to the fence, and cross at the middle. Try one more time. Put your fingers up in the sky. Diagonal down to the ground, back up to the sky. Diagonal down to the ground, come to the fence, and oops, cross in the middle. I'm doing it backwards. That's why it's confusing to me. Very good. All right. Let's make our lowercase a. Our lowercase a, where do you think the lowercase a is going to start? Is it going to start at the ground? No. No. Where do you think it's going to start? From the fence. At the fence. That's right. Because he, um, <coughs> mommy, maybe it's going to be this little. I think it's not going to be that little. Here we go. We're going to start at the fence, and we're going to go around, up, down to the ground. Let's do that again. Around, up, down to the ground. Now, everybody try that with me. We're going to go around, up, down to the ground. Put your pencil up your pretend fence. We go around, up. Down to the ground. Very good. Now, let's think about this. What are some words that start with an ah sound? We're going to read a little quick book. Bless you. Bless you. To help us think, come up with some brainstorm, some ideas. A. A is for apples. A is for Ants. A is for animals. A is for alligator. Mommy, oh. I can't go my truck. A is for ambulance. Okay. Oh, am A ambulance. A is for ambulance. antlers. A is for anteater. And A is for antelope. Can you think of any other words that start with an A ah sound? Wells, can you think of any other words that start with an A ah sound? Mommy, mommy. I'll call you next. Can you think of any other words? Um, There's a lot of words that have an A ah in the middle of them, but sometimes it's hard to come up with words that start with an A. Ah. That is a word that I don't know, but yes, it starts with an A. Ah. Kinsey? Apple. Apple starts with a. Ah. Ant. Astronaut. Alligator. Alabama. I think there's somebody watching from Alabama. And Alaska. Ambulance. Alaska. An animal. Alaska. Now we're gonna. Mom. 
<gasps> Mommy, my friend at school's name is Allie. Boss's friend at school, her name is Allie. Very good. Now, we're going to do the letter B. Where did my marker go? Okay, I think I'm going to start the letter B. Here we go. You stopped me, didn't you? Was I going to start my letter B at the, at the ground? <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you for catching that. All right, let's start our letter B at the start. Girls, can you please sleep back? This is actually all for the watch. I like it, I walk. Right there, have a seat. We're going to start our capital letter B at the sky. I want to give you a hug. I can buy this Okay. We start at the sky and we go down to the ground. Now we pick our pencil back up and we put it at the top and we loop around to the fence, around to the ground. Let's all try that. Everybody put your pretend markers in the air. We bring them down to the ground, pick it back up, put it at the sky, and we circle around to the fence, around to the ground. Good air writing. Let's do it one more time. Put your pretend markers in the sky. We go down to the ground, put it back up at the sky. We circle, we go around to the fence, around to the ground. Very good job. Now, lowercase b. Where am I going to start the lowercase b? From the fence. Not the fence. The sky. From the sky. From the sky. Drop down and then go to the fence and do a circle, a half circle. Okay. So we're going to start at the sky. We're going to go down to the ground. I like to keep my marker on the paper. Come back up to the fence and circle around to the ground. Let's try that again. We go down to the ground, back up to the fence and circle around to the ground. Now get your air pencils out. Put them at the top. Put them at the sky. Here we go. We go down to the ground, back up to the fence, and around to the ground. Again, one more time. We go down to the ground. Good job, Kenzie. Back up to the fence, and around to the ground. Nice job. Are you close? We're gonna grab our B book. And see what things start with the letter B. What sound does B make? Mommy, what are you going to do to cat in the hat hook? What? The letter B says B. Now. I'm going to get the cook. Okay. Can you please do this? B is for butterfly. B is for bus. Some of you probably ride a bus to school. B is for bear. B is for butterfly. Butterfly. B is for bike. Bike. B is for books. B. B is for bubbles. Oh, my girls like to blow bubbles. Do you like to blow bubbles? Bubbles is a fun word. There's actually three B's in bubbles. B, uh, B, oh, very cool. And These mommy, some... B starts with bubble. Banana. Bananas. Uh, and bubbles. Wait, mommy, pineapple starts with B. Pineapple. Pineapple starts with a B. P. What other words can we think of that start with a B? P. What words can you think of that start with a B? Tell your adult. Tell your adult the words that you think start with a B sound. B. I think I heard somebody say banana. Butterfly. Butterfly. That's what I said. <coughs> Wait, mommy, Bat. Mommy, I you said You said that too, yeah. You said it before. Bib. Boy. Boat. Nice job. All right. Now we're going to move on to doing a little bit of phonemic awareness. That's a bit. Those are some big words. Can you say phonemic? Phonemic. Awareness. Awareness. Phonemic awareness is being able to hear sounds in words. So, I'll get my space cleaned up a little bit here. Oh, you know what? We need to take a little brain break. Everybody stand up. We've been sitting down for a little too long. We're going to shake some wiggles out. Everybody stand up. Oh, I remember. Woo, feels good.
Do a little I stretch. Want, I want to do the dinosaur yeah. marching song. Kinsey is very excited to do the dinosaur marching song, which will be after phonemic awareness. Okay? So we'll get through our phonemic awareness, and then we'll do our dinosaur song. But right now, Mommy? we're going to shake some wiggles out. Oh, I'm going to shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake. Shake my wiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm going to clap, clap, clap my clappies out. Clap, clap, clap my clappies out. Clap, clap, clap my clappies out and wiggle my waggles away. Time to stomp your feet. I'm going to stomp, stomp, stomp my stompies out. Stomp, stomp, stomp my stompies out. Stomp. Stomp, stomp my stompies out and wiggle my waggles away. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake my wiggles out. Shake, shake, shake my wiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. Sit down. Whew. All right, yeah, my girls are a little thirsty after that, so if you need to grab a drink, grab a drink. Okie dokies. <clears throat> okay, here we go. We're going to move through this a little bit quickly. This is probably a little bit more uh, for kindergarten, first grade, but if you have children that are younger, just help them along and um, there'll be some more fun stuff for them to participate in. So here we go. I'm going to say two words. You're going to repeat those words, which means say those words again, and then you're gonna give me a thumbs up if you think that they rhyme, which means the endings sound the same, or you're gonna give me a thumbs down if they don't rhyme. So let's try one together. I'm gonna do okay, it. You're gonna, repeat, you're gonna repeat after me. No, okay? I wanna do it with you. Okay. We're gonna have a, li a little extra helper with my mom. Uh, here we go. Woke, soak. Woke, soak. Do they rhyme? Yes, they do. Thumbs up. Ooh, good thumbs up. Let's try another one. Fresh beam. Fresh beam. No, those do not sound the same. Those do not rhyme. Okay, here we go. Fine line. Fine line. Yes, they do. Nod nice. Nod nice. That's a tricky one. Those do not rhyme. They start the same way, n -n nod, n -n nice, but they do not rhyme. Plan, bike. Plan, bike. Nope, no, they don't rhyme. Best, nest. Best, nest. Very good, they rhyme. Car, come. Car, come. No, those don't rhyme. Last one. Hook, cook. Hook. Very good, they rhyme. Okay. How, how we get through not, the dinosaur not yet. We have to get through these things first and then we'll do the dinosaur song, okay? Okie dokies. I'm gonna say two words. You're going to repeat the two words and then you're gonna tell me what they both start with, the sound that they start with. No, for I example. Like that one. For example, I'm gonna say Me too. You can say it with me. And then I'll say it after. You can be my repeat, okay? okay. Big boy. Oh. Big boy. B, b, b. Fab, oops, fun, fast. Fun, fast. Good job. Jump, job. Jump, job. J, 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 j. Oh, I like seeing everybody punching those sounds out at the end. Good job. Me, man. Me, man. Kick, keep. Kick. Very good. All right, now we're gonna we're gonna chop some words up and we're gonna chop some words together. So show me your choppers. Put your hands together, and these are your chop, 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 choppers. Here we go. I'm gonna say two parts of a word, and you're gonna repeat them, and then we're going to slide them together. Here we go. Number. 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 Pop it. Puppet. Puppet. Baby. Baby. 
baby. Doctor. 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 Basket. 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 Oh, nice job. That was a smooth one. Tick it. Tick it. Tick it. Napkin. 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 Very good. All right. Now we are going to do one last thing and then we're going to move on. And then we're going to we're gonna do go through our letter sounds very quickly. We're going to do this part every day as well. So we're going to go like this. We're going to say letter is A, sound is A. Letter is B, sound is B. Letter is C, sound is Letter is D, sound is D. D. Letter is E, sound is A. Letter is F, sound is Letter is G, sound is G. G. Mom, you're messing up it. Letter is H. Sound. Mom, you have to put them on the bottom. Letter is H. Sound is <sighs> Now, parents, here's a little trick. A lot of times we don't realize that we're doing it, but we end up adding an uh sound to a lot of sounds that we say. Mommy, so, how can we do this? You know, sometimes, like for H, we might say huh, or for P, we might say puh. Really want to try to be careful to just say that very, very beginning sound. So H, letter is I, sound is I. Letter is J, sound is J. 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 Letter is K, sound is K. Can you help me out here? Letter is L, sound is O. Letter is M, sound is M. Letter is N, sound is N. Letter is O, sound is A. Letter is P, sound is P. Letter is Q, sound is Letter is R, sound is R. Like a dog playing with a toy. R. Letter is S, sound is S. Letter is T, sound is T. Good job. Letter is U, sound is uh. Letter is V, sound is V. That one tickles my lips. Letter is W, sound is W. Letter is X, sound is X. Letter is Y, sound is Y. y. Letter is Z, sound is Z. All right, Kinsey, are you ready? This is what Kinsey has been waiting for. It is time to get up and move. What, what else? So, mommy, stand up. Why is sometimes a vowel? Why can sometimes be a vowel? Put your hands on. All right, I'm going to move this computer back a little bit because we're going to get some dancing done. Oh, oh it feels to good to yourself. stretch your legs and stand up. Maybe do a couple of jumping jacks. Okay. Oh. Hi, Everybody stand up. Um, can I use my ukulele? Sure. Thank you. You're welcome. You want to do the dinosaur song first, and then we'll do the other song after, after we read a book? All right. We are to pretend that we are big, bold dinosaurs, and dinosaurs have very heavy feet, and they make some stomp, stomp, stomping sounds. So can I see your good stomping feet? Stomp, 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 stomp. And we're going to sing some songs. We're going to march around like a dinosaur. But I'm going to take a drink of water so that I don't have a coughing attack like I did before. Here we go. 
We are the dinosaurs. Dr. Seuss's A, B, C's. Mommy, Dr. Seuss. Why don't you come sit over here so you can see the book? Okay? You can sit, come sit over here so you can see the book. Big A. Little A. What begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligators. A, A, A. Big B. Little B. What begins with B? Baby by Barber Baby Bubbles and a Bumblebee. Get a little bit closer here. Big C. Little C. What begins with C? Camel on the ceiling. C, C, C. Big D. Little D. David Donald Camel. Dew dreamed a dozen donuts and a duck dog too. A, B, C, D. E, E, E. Ear egg elephant, E, E, E. Big F. Little F, 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 F. Four fluffy feathers on a fiffer, feffer, feff. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Goat girl goo goo goggles, G, G, G. Big H. Little H, hungry horse hay. Hen in a hat, hooray, hooray. Big I, little I, 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 Ichabod is itchy, so am I. Big J, little J, what begins with J? Jerry Jordan's jelly jar and jam begin that way. Please stop. Big K, little K, kitten kangaroo, kick a kettle kite and a king's kerchoo. Big L, little L, little Lola Lop. Left leg, lazy lion, licks a lollipop. Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight. Mighty nice. I need you to stop. Big M, little M, many mumbling mice are making midnight music in the moonlight. 
Mommy, this one that looks to me. Because Mommy, I was trying to read that because they were all. Big N, little N, what begins with those? Nine new neckties and a nightshirt and a nose. Mom, we did two penguins on that page. Pink, green, blue. I don't think there's any patterns. No. Ta-da, those are the patterns. Those oh, it's very useful. You use it when you say, Oscar's only ostrich oiled an orange owl today. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Painting pink pajamas, policeman in a pail. Peter Pepper's puppy and now Papa's in the pail. Big Q, little Q, what begins with Q? The quick queen of Quincy and her quacking quackaroo. Please stop. Big R. Little R. Rosie Robin Ross. Rosie's going riding on her red rhinoceros. Big S. Little S. Silly Sammy Slick. Sipped six sodas and got sick, sick, sick. Can I see? Uh, Mommy, how did he get sick? Because he drank too much soda. Got a tummy ache. T, 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 what begins with T? Ten tired turtles on a tuttle tuttle tree. Big U, little U, what begins with U? Uncle Ub's umbrella and his underwear, too. <laughs> Big V, little V, Vera Violet Vin. Stop touching the table, sweetie. Is very, very, very awful on her violin. Stop bumping the table. Every time you bump the table, it makes the computer shake. And then the video works. WWW, Willie Waterloo washes Warren Wiggins, I who is washing see. Waldo Wu. X is very useful if your name is Nixie Knox. It also comes in handy spelling X with extra fox. Big Y, little Y, a yawning yellow yak. Young Yolanda Jorgensen is yelling on his back. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Z. Big Z. Little Z. What begins with Z? Zebra. I do. I am a zizzer, zazzer, zuz, as you can plainly see. In zebra. Zebra. All right, everybody, one more song. So everybody, stand back Whoa. up. I'm going to go next to you. What is it? It's that mushroom. Here we go. Stand on mine. It's really big. No, thank you. You don't have to stand on that part, sweetie. Can I have my cookie today? Oh, I also want to play. It's not fair. Yeah, next time. Okay, we're going to play a song that has the days of the week in it. So it goes like this. It's also another Lori Berkner song called I'm Gonna Catch You. I'm going to catch you. You better run. I'm going to catch you. Here I come. I jumped into Monday. And I turned around, turn around everybody, and I heard a sound. It said, I'm gonna catch you, you better run, I'm gonna catch you, here I come. I jumped into Tuesday, and I had myself a Tuesday. Shoo! Shoo! And I turned around. And I heard a sound. It said, I'm gonna catch you. You better run. I'm gonna catch you. Here I am. I jumped into Wednesday. And I had a make new Wednesday. Hi, how do you do? My name's Mommy. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, how do you do? My name's Mommy. Miss Megan. How do you do? And I turned around. Everybody turn around. And I heard a sound. Then I'm gonna catch you, you better run. I'm gonna catch you, here I come. I jumped into Thursday, and I had myself a Thursday. 
What do you do when you go to the doctor? You stick out your tongue and you say, ah. And I turned around. for joining us today. I'm going to end with a Mo Willems book called The Duckling Gets a Cookie. Can you just sit down? Can you and then the Pete I want and to then and go over the you want to go with me since you're smaller? No, thank you. Okay. Well, I, just want I do not. You I, just, I, I just want to sit here since hey, it was already soon. You can sit there. Can you scooch over, please? Yeah. Thanks for being patient with us. Thank you. Ow, ow. I'm going to put this over here for right now because it's going to fall out. I do not like the look of that title. The duckling gets a cookie. <laughs> you know, you know. Hello. Okay, you got to be quiet. Scoot, it's good, it's good, it's good. May I have a cookie, please? Oh, thanks. Plop, plop. That was very nice of you. Why don't you sit over here so you can see? Are you looking at it in here? Oh, look at all those nuts. Hey, how did you get that cookie? I asked for it. You asked for it. Politely. Say, does that cookie have nuts? So you got a cookie with nuts just by asking politely. I ask for things all the time. I ask to drive the bus. I ask for hot dog parties. I'll ask for a french fry robot every now and then. I've asked for a walrus. Do I ask for candy? I do. It doesn't have to be a big bus, you know. Right now I'm asking why, why, why? Oh, there's more. <clears throat> Sometimes I ask for a hug. I ask to say a plate. Or I'll ask for some more story. I can't count the times I've asked for my own personal iceberg. Oh yeah, I'm the askingest pigeon in town. But do I get what I ask for? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No! It's not fair. Flappy flap. Ducklings get everything. Pigeons like cookies too, especially with nuts. Why did you get that cookie? They can chill. So I could give it to you? And another thing. How about, how about, how about, how about what? You're giving me that cookie with nuts. That is so nice. I knew they were Thank you. Thank you very much. I knew they were chill. Mmm, chomp. That is one cool duckling. Chomp. Yes, sir. Bye.
May I have another cookie, please? But this time, no nuts. The. <laughs> oh, there's one bite out of the cookie. All right. That wraps up our time together today. Thank you all for joining us. Yeah, and we'll see you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Central Time. Um, I Mommy. really appreciate you all joining us, and we're all just in this together trying to create something good for our kids. So thank you for listening, and um, just remember, what makes you different is what makes you beautiful. Always be kind. Thanks for listening.